The new year started with a disturbing discovery, yet another break-in at an East Orange County jewelry store. The owner says it has happened way too often in the past few years and wants to find a way to make it stop. News 6 reporter Vanessa Ariza is live at the Avalon Fine Jewelry Store tonight. Vanessa, uh, was the person able to get inside that store? The good news, Lee says they were not. However, they did shatter this window. You can see it's since been replaced. And for some reason, they may have gotten spooked and then just took off. But the bad news is, unfortunately for the owner, this is the fifth time her shop here in Avalon Park has been broken into since 2011. Right here, you'll see them walking up. Looking in the door. It's not the clearest video, but it's video nonetheless. And Avalon Fine Jewelry owner Tiffany Bailey is hoping someone can help find this person who tried to steal her livelihood. They actually went through the left front window just because that's the side that the door lock is on. It wasn't until yesterday morning Bailey found out through her security company that someone tried to break in. Her first thought when she pulled up to her shop and saw this. Here we go again. Since opening in 2011, her business has been hit close to half a dozen times. Luckily, this time, nothing was stolen and no one was hurt. But the financial burden is still there. This won't even meet an insurance deductible. So all that means to me is I'm the one that has to take my hard-earned money that I made to pay for something that I shouldn't have to pay for. Already equipped with more than a dozen security cameras, Bailey plans to install even more after this weekend's incident. Owning a jewelry store, she knows the risks that come with it, but she's trying to see the positive in an unfortunate situation. With every scenario, nobody's ever been injured. Nobody's ever been shot. No, you know, nothing like that has ever happened. Yeah. Everything's totally replaceable, whether you have insurance or not. I contacted Orange County Sheriff's Office to see if this attempted burglary is connected to one that happened on Christmas Eve along Goldenrod. I was told that they will look into that to see if they are connected tomorrow when their offices reopen. 